Today we answer the question, who is Gary Richrath? Gary Richrath is an American guitar player best known for his work as founder and lead guitarist for the band REO Speedwagon. Originally from Peoria, Illinois, Gary, like many of us, took up the electric guitar in his teenage years. In a magazine interview, Gary once shared the story of how he got his first guitar. My uncle was a country guitarist and gave me a guitar and said, learn how to play this. It'll keep you from starving. Gary said, great, and the rest is history. Some interesting facts about Gary Richrath include, one, he was a self-taught guitarist. Two, he penned several of REO Speedwagon's hits, including Take It On The Run, In Your Letter, and Riding The Storm Out. Three, he was a no-frills Les Paul Marshall man. He rarely used any effects outside of an occasional echoplex and a wah pedal. This last one's classic. Gary once said that his basic approach to playing rhythm guitar was lowering the volume down to six or seven while the singer was singing. Amen, brother. One of Gary's gifts was his ability to write some great solos. And so today I thought we'd run through three of Gary's iconic solos. For the tones today, I'll be playing my Gibson Les Paul Futura into my Fractal Audio FM3. Gary's signal chain was super simple. Guitar plus amp equals tone. For amps, Gary used a pair of Marshall Jam P 2014 50-watt combos, which are pretty cool amps. For live shows, Gary would slave the amps to help fill things out. As time went on, Gary added some Marshall heads to his live rig, likely because Ario was playing bigger shows and just needed more volume. All right, three solos. First up, Keep On Loving You, which is off of Ario Speedwagon's biggest selling album, High Infidelity. All right, neck pickup, check. Tone knob rolled down, check. We have liftoff. Next up is the Bo Diddley inspired Don't Let Him Go. Third up is Roll With The Changes off of Ario Speedwagon's 1978 album with possibly one of the best album names ever. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. takeaways on Gary Richrath. I always find it interesting learning from self-taught guitarists. First, in Gary's case, he managed to take a handful of guitar licks and turn them into a sound and style of his own. Another lesson we can learn from Gary Richrath is to never underestimate the power of the pentatonic scale. As guitar players, we sometimes get caught up in doing things like trying to master scales with three notes per string or accomplish some other technical feat. And then along comes a guy like Gary Richrath, who writes not one but several timeless guitar solos using what some might refer to as a simple and overplayed scale. In the immortal words of Mick Jagger, I know it's only rock and roll, but I like it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't checked out Gary Richrath or Ario Speedwagon in a while, do yourself a favor, there's some good riffs in there. As always, if you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe if that's your jam, and we'll see you in the next video. Rocks out.